Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, mind mapping apps. Hi, I'm Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today we're talking about mind mapping apps. And mind mapping apps are great apps to foster thinking, ID generation, planning for projects or planning for writing. Uh, they can serve as graphic organizers for more in more traditional ways where the graphic organizers are set. But really the biggest advantage that they have is that they're free to flow the way you think with new ideas just being added and not being constrained by a specific structure. So let's start. One of my favorites is LucidChart. And LucidChart is a great app. It allows you to build a lot of different mind maps with different sets of graphics that go with them. Uh, the free version is limited to only a five documents, so you have to consider whether you want to go with a free version or with a paid version that allows you to do more. One of the advantages is, though, that you can save the existing mind maps as pictures, export them to a PDF or to a, another format, and that way you can easily uh, use those five for the things that are keeping active and everything else gets saved as a picture, which isn't a problem. The other, the other two things I like about LucidChart, before we get into looking at it, one is that LucidChart works with Google Drive, so it'll save all Google Drive and it'll pull up information from Google Drive. And the second thing is that it works across platforms, so if you have a Chromebook or just working from a browser, it'll work just as well, although I do like it on the iPad very, very much. I'll give you some examples uh, of things that uh, we've created. And so here's the first one. And this is a chart I made that looked at an organization of, a, of our elementary education program. So you can see that you can easily create a, different kinds of labels to uh, signify different things. In this case, uh, the ones that are with a circle around them are the people and the ones that are squares or rectangles really are the classes we have. So that's one way to use it. And let's look at another one. And you can see that there's a map and there's a fantastic sharing option. I don't have things that are shared in you right now, but here's another one. And that is, um, I imported a set of graphics that looks at, um, you can see them kind, kind of coming up. These are a set of graphics that looks at social networks and how they come in and it's taking a little bit of time so uh, we'll move forward but what you can see is you can create something very simple or considerably more complex here's a, another example so you can see immediately that you can create different things this is a flow chart uh, that was created in about five minutes so and you can see that this is very easy i, I just added an arrow and here i am adding a shape that comes from this panel or I can go to the standard panel and you can see that I can just plug a note in there and I can write on it and really develop this mind map to be something very, very complex or I can simplify it fairly easily. So here I go back. And what I love about this is many of the apps have a very short undo, so it remembers two or three actions at the most. This one remembers a lot more, and it allows you to do a, a lot of actions that would enhance this document. Uh, so this is another example of what you can do. And if you want to export it, all you do is you press the export, and you can export it as a PDF or as a PNG, so you can do it in a purely graphic format or in a PDF format that anybody can look at it uh, universally. Or you can add collaborator and that means you're inviting people who already have access to the app to work at it at the same time or at different time points. And that's another great feature that LucidChart um, allows. You can see that the documents are easily uh, done. You can also search. You can see that I have other things that I've used or uh, things that I've imported from other places. So there's a, a significant collection out there. Uh, these were erased because I could have only five. Uh, here's another example. 
So this is a, a support process that was designed and again, um, I can easily make things larger or smaller. I can add in any direction. In this case, I want to add um, shapes. So here we are, I want a diamond shape or, and I can again make it small, large. The arrows go with it, so it's very, very quick. One of the things that I love about mind mapping is it's supposed to be quick, it's supposed to work seamlessly and without you having to figure out too many buttons, and Lucidchart definitely does that. So that's my first app for that. Uh, the second one is Fluent Mind Map. Um, on the tag it says Fluent MM, but these are mind maps, and you can see this is very simple and very colorful. It opens immediately into a page, and you can see the controls. Uh, you can immediately take a picture and it saves it as a picture, which is a fantastic way to share it quickly. Uh, you can also send it as part of an app. That means somebody can go on manipulating it or as a PDF or a PNG. So again, very similar options to share with uh, others. And I'll show you um, the plus creates a new page. You can start writing. So uh, I'll say, you know, run and all you have to do is then uh, click somewhere else and here's another one and if I double click on it, it gives me options for color and again I love the fact that it's colorful, it's very appealing and you can use the colors to actually denote meaning so I will say here uh, allow us to write a, I don't know, morning run, right? And what you can see here is you can use all the regular functions that work within the iPad. You can also, if you go back here, you can also control the way the arrows are. Come on. And the lines, so you can move this around. And just let's get out of this for a second. And of course you can, uh, do the undo button, so I'm undoing, and you can see again, lots of steps. So if you need to retrace your steps and see where you made a mistake, that's very, uh, very easy. And the other thing that I wanna show here is that it's ultimately using the space on the iPad and if you're projecting it on the projector very, very well, so you don't have any dead space. And you can bring those bars at the bottom and the top, but it still reserves maximum amount of space for the actual work on the mind map. So this one is called Fluent MM or Fluent Mind Map. The last one I want to show is one I've shown before, but I love because I, I think that it does a really nice job and that is Inspiration Maps. And Inspiration Maps, again, allow you to create these maps very, very quickly. You can see that there are lots of nice templates. Lucid Charge has great templates as well. So you can uh, definitely use a template. This is a simple template. It starts with the main idea and it goes from there. So again, let's do running and and then you just uh, add a new one, uh, let's say uh, walking, and then you can uh, connect them to each other and you can call it something or not. Very, very quick, very, very easy. Uh, great for kids and this one is a uh, free right now. I don't know if it'll stay free. Now you can get more advanced features if you pay and that's true of Lucidchart which gives you a infinite number of mind maps as you go along. Um, Fluent MM also has a few options that you can pay for but the basics are still free and if you're working with kids and they're doing basic planning or they're doing project-based learning and they need to do some planning you don't need that many so the free version would work perfectly. So today we talked about mind mapping and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.